The level logger may be a little bit more work to set up in the well initially, but once it's in the well, it's going to operate flawlessly for an extended period of time. You only have to remember to go and remove the logger maybe a couple times a year and download the data just to see what your well is doing and make sure you're, you're reviewing that information to manage your water conditions on your property. The level logger is suspended in the water at a measured depth and a barrel logger is suspended above the water level, so just about a meter down from the top of the casing. It measures the barometric pressure. The lower logger measures water pressure and barometric pressure combined. So the need to have both is so that you can get the most accurate water level measurement by subtracting the barometric pressure from the water level and barometric pressure in the lower logger. It's important to find out information about the depth of water in your well because not all loggers are the same and the conditions of your well, including the depth of water in the well, will dictate the type of logger that goes in that well. Prior to putting the level logger in the well, one of the steps is required to set the logger up to tell it when to start, how often to take the measurements, and what to record. When you purchase a level logger, you also download the software from the website, which I have already established on this laptop. And we have part of the package, one of the pieces of equipment you need to buy is called an optic reader, which allows you to plug the level logger into the laptop. Place the level logger into the optic reader. Go to the settings, so data logger settings, and allows you to communicate with the data logger. Give the, the data logger a name. In this case, it's called the Broken Stone Winery, and we've called it the Bloom Water Project. So we've set all the times in here, and we go start logger, and we're ready to go. So then we take the data logger out to the well and place it into the well. It'll start recording at 4 p.m. today, every hour, that we record a water level reading. Measure out a stainless steel cable to the required depth that the logger is going to be installed into the well. Attach the logger at that depth and if you're going to be using a barrel logger, make sure you attach a barrel logger to another stainless steel cable, approximately a meter, just as such that the barrel logger is outside of the water level. When your well is equipped with a pump, the level logger manufacturer recommends the data logger be protected with a sleeve. So we're going to place the level logger into the sleeve and place a bolt through. And what this does is help the level logger or prevent the level logger from becoming damaged. Attach the stainless steel cables for the level logger and the barrel logger to the pump hanger. Lower each logger into the well. After installing the loggers, the well should be chlorinated in the event that any contamination was introduced to the well. The recommendation is to add enough bleach solution to reach a concentration of 50 milligrams per liter. I recommend that you go to the Ministry of Environment website or the local health unit to determine how to properly chlorinate your well. After the data logger has been in the well for a period of time, you remove the data logger, bring it back to your computer, plug it into the optic reader, open up the level logger software, and on the software you go to your data control section, download data, I'm going to download all data, and then what you can see is a graph of your data on the screen, and I find it myself useful to export the data into Excel or a spreadsheet type software where you can review it in more detail.